so we had some classes on psychology on the as per the request of request of some of you today again i am going back to the field of psychology on the as we had discussion on the concept and definitions of psychology today we have to discuss some of the important parts which have links with the concept part as well as the definition part at the same time for understanding psychology <coughs> sorry <coughs> in details we have to discuss all these you see contents which will help you make your concept very much clear let us start we discussed that the aim of psychology is to help to describe to help to describe or explain to understand by the readers to predict and control conditions and situations both in the world around the living being and within itself which elicit behavior of different types science emphasizes on the application of methods like observation experimentation etc and insists on making comparison on the classification to investigate and collect data psychology also applies both observation and experimentation which are scientific procedures procedures for the systematic study of mental or psychological property and reactions to stimuli friends in a sense this is the repetition of the last class we came to know that the term psychology is derived from two greek terms one is psyche and the other is logos psyche means either soul or mind and logos means science and the latest definition of psychology be as we caught is psychology is the science which studies the behavior or the behavioral manifestations of all the living beings and the living things as well as in today's world non living matters and essence of this great universe or extensive universe the basic concern of psychology is the study of behavior on the logos you you certainly understand means science on science when we are to explain the concept for basic understanding we are to explain that science is the systematic knowledge of the laws of the universe it's the practical aspect of human knowledge means the application of knowledge for having result as for the you see mental planning is nothing but very simply science and as a science science basically you see depends on all these specific methods like observation experimentation and science basically insists on making comparison on classification to investigate to investigate on the collect data and psychology as a as one of the important branches of positive science basically deals with the behavioral manifestations of all the living organisms beings things and non living matters as well as phenomena events happening of this greater universe where all the living beings things on not not living matters events situations phenomena of existing let us go back to the next slide psychology what does it do 
Psychology helps to deal with the process of systematic study of human behavior under controlled conditions. If we come back to the field of human behavioral study, then we see that psychology basically studies the behavioral manifestations of human beings or human organisms in controlled or under controlled conditions. Psychology emphasizes on the use of experimental data for the purpose of investigation and in theory of all the, you see, facts which are connected with different behavioral manifestations. Such method deals with the three essential characteristics of science, namely accuracy, certainty and generalization. Psychology, like any other branches of science, emphasizes on the control of all other conditions except one while conducting studies on human behavior for greater understanding and better establishment of all the realities behind every and all types of behavioral manifestations. Let us go back to the next slide. Scientific study, as we understand in nature, should be quantitative. In other terms, results obtained from any type of scientific study should be quantifiable or measurable by proper method of study. Psychology uses statistical method for the analysis of different data for reporting findings of proper results. Means being one of the important branches of positive science, psychology is bound to depend on scientific using method for the study or for the proper analysis of behavioral manifestations so as to establish the facts. Science helps to verify data and psychology as a positive science also helps to verify data related to behavioral manifestations of the living beings and organisms. In psychology also, verification of data is made. Every science is based upon first-hand information in the form of data of experience. Psychology is also based upon first-hand information of data or experience. Psychology emphasizes on the application of all the procedures of science for the study of mind and the mental or the psychological properties which help to manifest behavior of all the living beings and organisms of this universe. Let us go back to the next slide. Though there are many scientific procedures applied in the field of psychology or to the field of psychology, for studying behavior, which is the prime concern of psychology, is not yet considered as the pure or natural sciences like physics or chemistry for many reasons. There are so many reasons for which we never can do psychology is to depend on scientific use of methods for the study of behavior or for the analysis of all facts or the realities which have linked with behavioral manifestations. We never can use it treat psychology as natural or pure science like physics or chemistry. Psychology does not deal with hydrogen or oxygen, acid or electricity or chemicals like the other branches of science basically deal with. It deals with, in psychology, it deals with the potentialities or capabilities of human mind, human behavior, results as the reactions to stimuli in the process of formation as well as the nature of dynamic personality of, of living organisms like you, me, and all of us. So perhaps the basic concern of psychology is, is the study or the analysis, uh, the analysis of all the realities which are linked with every UC behavioral manifestation for the establishment of fact. And for doing this, psychology is bound to study the functions of human mind or the psychic level as well as the functions of human physiology because with the help of human physiology, we keep contact with the greater world and with the psychological or the psychic potentialities or intellectual capabilities 
be understand or try to manifest the realities behind every stimuli or behind every sort of stimulus which uh, the global form of which is stimuli as well as the phenomena. Let us go back to the next slide. Psychology is never assessed as a branch of biological or pure science, but it is assessed as a positive science. It is a social science for studying the individual on society in a scientific way for the benefit of the individual on the society as well. As psychology studies, psychic potential it is that is human mind or the mental properties from the viewpoint of the science and with the help of scientific procedures, psychologists to regard it as a positive science of mind and behavior or positive science of all the psychic order as well as behavioral manifestation of human organism or organisms as well as other living you see beings of this universe and nowadays psychology has concerned with the study of behavioral manifestation of different you see non-living things and makers of this universe let us go back to the next slide we may therefore conclude that psychology can be called a science as it uses many procedures of science and many different characteristics of science in dealing with the behavioral manifestation of all the living things and beings in specific and different types of non-living matters of this greater universe where we are existing or living. Psychology uses scientific procedures like objective observation and experimentation of the study of mind and behavior or study of mental capabilities or mental potentialities as well as the various reasons of or which are dear behind every manifestation of uh, every behavior or manifestations of different behaviors in different life situations of every human organism. Let us go back to the next slide. The study of psychology is very systematic as the different branches of science. Means like the different branches of science, the study of psychology is also very scientific. Psychology controls all the variables except one. It strives for finding out truth of behavior. It makes sincere attempts to be free from bias on three days at the time of studying the mind and mental properties or the mental capabilities. Finally, the data obtained from psychological investigations are quantified or quantifiable and verified or verifiable for finding out the truth and sworn into behavioral manifestation of the living uh, you say, organism or as well as living beings of this greater universe. Let us go back to the next. This, in view of these facts, means to which we have already explained or elaborated, psychology has been rightly called a mental science or a social science that studies the relation of individual beings within the society. Psychology studies the activities of the human individual in relation to his uh, environment and predicts behavior, but it can't be equated with biological science or pure science because of the differences of purposes and the approaches. The concern of psychology is simply the study of behavioral manifestations of every human organism at the same time as we constitute society. Psychology is basically psychology is concerned or connected with the study of behavioral, social behavioral pattern or behavioral pattern in social setting or social setup where we are living in. Let us go back to the next slide. Psychology has made tremendous progress in its scope and field with the senses of time. Advancement and expansion of knowledge are the result of the increasing curiosity of human mind to explore new things and facts in the present sensory. Means the area of operation of psychology has gradually been expanding because of different new developments and as the you see result of various researches on psychological affairs you see in present sensory psychology has involved itself with the study and analysis of different functions of human mind under the various aspects of behavior of the human being all the living organisms and different non-living things 
how we work under different environmental conditions, on sense circumstances. So because of the advancement of, you see, because of develop, various development, new developments in the field of psychology, psychology is nowadays not only connected with the study of behavioral manifestations of the human being, a human organism, as well as other living organisms, but also psychology is connected with the study with the study of behavioral manifestation of different non-living matters and things of this universe. Let us go back to the next slide. In P means uh, by explaining the explaining or depending on all the explanations, it has circumscribed all aspects of human behavior to explore all possible secrets of life. Psychology has been trying to study the behavior of different types of people in different walks of life, namely people with behavioral problems, gifted children, genius, genius children, abnormal children or abnormal persons, adolescents and adults, people in the field of politics, industrial and organizational employees and employers, students and teachers in the classrooms, military personnel, activity, activists, military personnel, activities of persons in groups and societies and so on. So friends, when we are to explain about the scope of psychology, certainly we are to explain about all these areas with which psychology has connectivity because psychology studies all these, you see, facts, all the, all the problems uh, which are linked with all these specific areas. Let us go back to the next slide. Psychology has also been trying to study the specialities of learning and learning requirements, intelligence, memorizing capabilities, human relationship among different categories of people in different life situations, etc. So friends, once we have to discuss about the scope of psychology, then we can, you see, point by point, we have to keep in mind that the scope of psychology is very much extensive and psychology has close link with all the areas which we have already discussed here or specified here and accordingly because of the, you see, new development in the field of psychology depending on the new resources in the present sensory, the area of operation of psychology is getting much extensive and there is not a single area where psychology has not being connected or linked, you see, for explaining the facts and realities of different behavioral manifestations. And you see, we have to stop here you, at this point because of what and why psychology we have understood. And we have to go to the next, in next class we have to go to other parts, particularly different branches of psychology or the various branches of psychology and when we will discuss about the branches of psychology your concept concerning to education and psychology as one of the most important branches of general psychology will be very clear so friends let us stop here today because in all these slides many things have been placed here on my earnest request to you is you please be sincere at the time of you see studying the explanations of all or the contents of all the slides so that your conception concerning to psychology and your conception concerning to the area of operation means uh, scope of psychology become much clearer. Thank you so much.